you won't get these drinks out here I got money so they put it in the bag I'm pulling off all the tags and pulling off in the jag Fuck being broke, it's broke, niggas is mad Get a job with your broke ass and get it out the hoes ass I go fast when I'm riding through the city lights I'm from the Bay West Coast with your city like New nights, fresh jeans and a snapback Hey tribe, welcome back to my channel. I'm a vibe, you a vibe, we should vibe, so you should what? You should like, comment, share, and subscribe, but only if you want to, only if you want to, only if you want to. If you're watching, that's really all I appreciate. Everything else is extra, and if you do, so I greatly appreciate it. If you want that extra juicy tea, go ahead and click the link down in my description below to join my membership for that extra juicy tea. A new video will be up sometime this week. Okay, y'all, so we about to jump into it. Part two of how and why me and Deb fell out and how I started wanting to plot against her and plotting against longtime friend as well. Like I wanted them to not like each other and I wanted to get my get back on them. So where I left off was I'm talking to Deb because I'm trying to make her feel included and not like she's the fifth wheel to me and pop up and longtime friend and G. Mid conversation. This girl start asking me like, is you hot? And I'm like, no, she like, cause I'm hot. And I'm like, why are you hot? There's no reason for you to be hot. Mind you, it is summer, but at this point in time, it's like three o'clock in the morning. So it's just like, yeah, it's warm outside because we live in California and our summer nights can be still hot at that time. But it's not, it's not like no 80, 90, 100 degrees. It's like 75, lukewarm. Like girl, what are you talking about? You hot. Now, mind you, we were, you know, sipping on that drink and then Papa did have a bottle in the car. So we was sipping on the bottle, you know, taking some shots of what he had left of his bottle in the car. But not to the point where it's like, you hot. So I'm just looking at her like, what you want? Because what are you talking about? Am I hot? You hot. It's literally, it's not cold, but it's not hot. And we got on little clothes. We got on booty shorts and crop tops. There's no reason for you to be hot. It's low key kind of cold a little bit. Like if it got breezy, bitch, we're, we're freezing out here. So let me set the scene. It's me and Deb. We standing in front of the car, pop up next to me. He started rolling up. So he got his tree skis on the hood of the car. He breaking it down and he's finna start rolling up. Long time friend and G is on the left side. So they're on the side where Deb is. I'm in the middle. So Deb, me, pop up, long time friend and G, they on the side of the car, making out, kissing, all in each other's face. Before we had got out the car, pop up had put his car on that, you know, where you could, not if his car wasn't on, but it was on to where like you could still play music, but your car not like on. So he had his car like on that setting and he was playing music. So, you know, we kind of just vibing. We just chilling, listening to the music, doing a little one, two step, nothing too crazy because it's literally 3 a.m. We are in a neighborhood that's neither of our neighborhood. So, you know, we just trying to be cool, but still have a little baby turn up outside. We're standing there and I'm talking to Deb and she's talking about, like I said, she's asking me if I'm hot. Y'all, I remember this like yesterday. The song that was playing was Cupcake No Feeling. I ain't got time because I got a lot of women. I'll insert a clip of this song. This is a Bay Area classic, okay? If you going through a breakup or anything like that, this is the song you will play, Cupcake No Feeling. Like you will play around here. Hey, Cupcake No Feeling. I ain't got time because I got a lot of women. Hey. So that song is on and I'm just thinking like, okay, why this girl asking me, am I hot? Like, is she trying to be funny? So I'm asking her, I'm like, Deb, you good? Like, are you okay? Because girl, it's not hot. I think you tripping. She's like, no, I'm hot. I'm hot. Don't you see me sweating? And I'm looking at her and I'm like, girl, you're not sweating. Do you want to go sit in the car? Are you feeling okay? Do you need to throw up or something? Is you too on? Like, because we can leave if you're not feeling cool. She like, no, nah, I'm good. I'm just hot. I'm just hot. I'm just like, whatever, Deb, <laughs> you tripping. I'm not finna, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I'm not hot. I don't think nobody else is hot. We all feeling good. So whatever. So as the song Cupcake No Feeling coming on, I was singing a song Cupcake No Feeling. I ain't got time because I got a lot of women. Hey, So I go over there and I'm like singing this song to 
long time friend and G because they all booed up. I'm like, cupcake, no feeling. Cause y'all just over here cupcake. Like we not all over here. Is y'all finna hit it because pop up rolling up. I had that little moment with them. I walked back over to pop up. Deb just leaning on the car. Yo, out of nowhere, she's like, I'm about to take off my shirt because I'm hot. And I'm looking at her like, what are you talking about? You about to take off your shirt because it's hot. Like, it's not hot. And it's definitely not hot enough for you to start taking off your shirt. Like, I'm confused. What What does you being hot got to do with you taking off your shirt? She's like, I'm going to take off my shirt. I'm going to take off my shirt. So I'm looking at her like, girl, do not take off your shirt. It's literally not that necessary. So I'm telling pop up, I'm like, maybe we should leave because they're tripping. Like, maybe I should take her home and get her in the house because like she low-key high-key embarrassing me in front of my man and I don't like that like what do you mean by the take off your shirt <laughs> sis it's not that serious literally we we could put you in a car and turn on the AC if you that hot because bitch I feel like you trying to show out because why do you think you need to take off your shirt and we right here next to my man like do you want to get beat up do you want to get beat up because i think she's wanting to fight me at this point like you really trying to be funny now in my face so y'all i'm like holding her i have her like this i'm like girl calm down you tripping you're not about to take off your shirt so y'all she yank away from me and so i'm just like okay bitch, what what's up with you Y'all, when I tell you this, bitch started running and taking off her shirt. So I'm in shock because I'm just like, I can't believe this girl is really taking off her shirt. Mind you, she is like an A cup. She, she taking off her shirt. She don't have no bra or nothing under because she literally didn't need a bra. She had like little ant bites. You know, no tea, no shade. I'm just saying she had like little chi chis. Y'all, she take off her shirt. She starts running around talking about I'm hot. I'm hot. Waving her shirt around. So pop up looking at me like, yeah, your friend tripping. And I'm looking at him like, yeah, I think it's probably time to go. So I'm like, damn, get the over here right now. What are you doing? Put your shirt on. Y'all, when I tell you I'm so mad because I just did not understand why she was taking off her shirt and she's literally right here in front of my man and longtime friend dude as well and you think it is appropriate to be taking off your shirt like that's some trashy slutty ass shit it ain't never been that serious to get attention mind y'all deb is a pretty ass dick like she's not the type of girl who needed to be fiending for attention like this but as I got older and I started finding out more shit about her, I understood why she act the way she acted. So y'all, I wasn't gonna put this in here, but I feel that I need to put this in here so y'all can kind of get an understand of the dynamic me and Deb had and why I had so much sympathy for her. So one day me and her was having a heart to heart talk because not every time we hung out, it was bad. It would be times me and her was kicking it and we had really good times. Yes, the bad did outweigh the good in the end. So we're having a heart to heart and I'm kind of telling her about my childhood, about the stuff that I went through with my parents and my grandmother. So she started opening up to me about her childhood and how her mom basically sold her for drugs and money. And y'all, when she told me that, I mean, me and her literally cried for like an hour just talking about all the trauma and things we went through as kids and young teenagers going through life. So all her life, basically, from what she can remember, she had been sexualized by men grown men so she was just so used to always having attention by men that when she was not the center of attention she just started acting out and at that time i didn't formulate that in my head but as a grown woman and experiencing life that's what was happening she just could not bear not having the attention because from a young age she was always in some type of man's face because her mom was basically selling her for her own gain. 
So I had a really soft spot for Deb because I just felt like I needed to rescue her. Like I needed to be the shining star in her life at that young age, you guys. Like I just have such a big heart and I just feel like anybody that I come in contact with is for a reason and I need to help them as much as I can. Like that is my purpose in life is to come into someone's life and just just give give like i'm just that type of person when i care about you i just give like i don't know how to not give you know and i'm i've been learning you know what's a balance you can't just give 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 to people and, and don't receive but that's why me and her stay friends as long as we did over the years we was friends because when i found out that information i was so i didn't i, I didn't even know what to tell her what do you tell somebody you know yeah but it wasn't like she was ugly and needed to fiend for attention but i feel like she was just in some type of way jealous of me having a cute boyfriend and she felt like oh i'm pretty so i sh i don't i don't understand why you got a nigga like that and i can't get a nigga like that i i, I don't know I don't know. That's just how I saw it as I got older. And I looked back on a lot of sh bitches should be jealous because you got something they feel like they should have and they don't got it. And they feel like, well, I look better than you. So why? Why are you getting your way? <laughs> That's all I can say. That's how I see it. So she's running around and she's swinging her shirt. She runs up to longtime friend in G and she was like, grab my Chi Chi's. And when I tell y'all, like, she's literally up on them because longtime friend in G was linked up on the car like kissing like they facing each other like this linked up on the car so she walks up next to them like you know like trying to get in between them a long time friend all of a sudden now now she feeling some type of way now she want to get all mad she like bitch what the fuck is you doing like back up what are you doing don't nobody want to touch your chi chis so she pushes her like she pushed her so hard. She like, you tripping, calm down, put your shirt on. You embarrassing us. Like, what is you doing? Mind you, pop up like, hey, y'all keep it down because this neighborhood we in, these are the type of people they will call the police. We in like one of them like uppity uppity neighborhoods and it's we out here being loud because we're literally yelling at her like put your shirt on put your shirt on what are you doing like we're yelling at her because are you dumb are you stupid can you not hear what we're saying like is your ears being affected by right now and i should have not even let her drink anymore when we got into the car with papa but she in the back seat so it was like i couldn't control her hitting the bottle but i could have but i couldn't they just passed her the bottle when it was her turn in the back seat and i should have just been like no don't let her drink no more g's like little mama put your shirt on i don't want to see your boobs i don't think my bro want to see your boobs i don't think your friends want to see your boobs that's not cute. Like you too pretty to be acting like that. You been kind of on one all night, but you know, it's 3 a.m. in the morning. Calm down, little mama, like, put your shirt back on. She's like, no, I don't want to put my shirt back on. I'm hot. I'm standing there. And y'all, back when I was a teenager, y'all, I used to give this dead mean ass there when I used to get mad. So I'm literally looking at her like, you dumb bitch. So, she comes running over back to me and Papa because he he finishing what he doing and he putting all his stuff back in the little baggie. So she run over to us. She was like, touch my boobs, touch my boobs. So one time friend walk over there. She was like, you doing too much. So she's just like, man, you guys are being some party poopers. It's not even that serious. And I'm like, girl, it is that serious because why is you trying to do too much in front of the dudes? Like, honestly, because when we would be drinking or kicking it by ourselves with Deb, yeah, she would get wild and get sloppy, but she ain't never did no shit like that, taking off her shirt, running around. Mind you, y'all, she's screaming. She's hollering. She's not just running around. She's literally yelling hella loud. So finally, I'm just like, I grab her arm. I'm like, Deb, get your ass in a car. I'm like, man, we taking you home right now. 
So I got her by the arm and I'm just like, girl, you're hella doing too much. Like, I'm like, I'm not bringing you around me no more because every time I go out and try to do something with you, you always the one causing some type of something. Like you just act like an airhead. So she's just like, man, y'all, y'all doing too much. You doing too much. Give me my shirt. Cause mind you, she dropped the shirt on the ground. Long time friend picked her shirt up. I'm locking her to get in the car. Long time friend brings over her shirt. Throw it at her like, here, put your shirt on. So we're on the side of the car. I open the door. She's putting her shirt on. And I'm just talking to her. I'm like, girl, look, I've been letting you slide all night. I let you slide with that stuff at the party. Now you do this. I'm just like, I'm telling you right now, I'm not dealing with you no more because I didn't let you slide too many times. I really should have cut you off when you slept with my man a couple years ago. But you know what? I, I tried to forgive you because I'm a very forgiving person. And I thought, you know, maybe it was because he was drunk. Maybe he took advantage of you. I don't really know. I don't know what happened. You know how you and him even initiated sleeping with each other. So I don't know. I let you slide. Every time I start letting you come back around me, some type of friction, some type of incident happen. And I feel like I always got to babysit you and I don't want to be around nobody. I got to babysit. I don't want to bring you around my boyfriend for sure anymore because look at the way you acting. Why would you flash us? I mean, you not trying to show your boobs for me and, and long time friend. You you not. My, I didn't see your boobies before you know we friends we change in front of each other so it's like girl it's not that hot anyway for you to even <laughs> you giving me crazy vibes because that's stuff i seen people do who do drugs when they get hot they get the tripping and start stripping and taking off their clothes so let me know if you borderline you feel me you a druggie what like let me know because Y'all, at this time, I don't know about anywhere else, but in the Bay Area, thizzing was very popular. Popping pills, thizzing, being on, putting them in the drink, and stuff like that was very popular. A lot of my friends popped pills at this time. Like, a lot of them. Like, even friends, I'm not even gonna name other friends, but my friends, y'all probably didn't even think pop pills. Pop pills. I never popped. I only did it one time, but yeah. So, I didn't see her pop this night because mind you they came with me to my house and i feel like if she would have popped any pill would have knew she was on when she was at my house or when we first got to the kickback party or whatever so i didn't think they popped that day usually if they pop pill, me like oh we on you feel me so after i get her in the car she's sitting there with her arms crossed like a big ass kid like she mad like <laughs> y'all i'm literally sitting in the car Pop up got the music on. Nobody's talking. We all dead silent. Long time friend is sitting in the middle because of course now she thinking like, okay, she want my man now too. Like, so she don't want definitely <laughs> want to think about it. Long time friend didn't play about her niggas. But when it came to my nigga and they was doing all that little flirty shit, she didn't say, but now that they didn't flash her dude, now she mad. Now she don't want, you feel me? So she's sitting in the middle. Then G is sitting behind, you know, pop up. So y'all, I'm looking in the like little mirror. I'm just looking at her mugging her the whole time. I'm just like, ooh, like I really should take off on her because she is so disrespectful. And I just kept feeling like as good as I am to her, why do she do these type of things to me? Like, I don't hear that. I mean, she she was doing shady to other people. But I'm that friend who really was your friend i really took you under my wing i really rescued you from a lot of shit she was going through at home so i just felt so disrespected that friends that are have these terrible home lives i bring them into my life and i try to do as much as i can for them to make something in their life good giving you clothes giving you food like anytime you're around me you good like i'm paying for you to do this i'm paying for you to do that i'm giving you a little couple dollars here and there when i got extra money so i'm just so mad like i'm just irritated so yeah i'm looking at her mugging up out of her she would sometimes look up and see me looking at her and then she would just look down like hm, hm, hm. so i'm like huh, huh. like do people do somebody got something to say do you got something to say 
she's like no no i'm like oh okay so papa was asking me like where she live at because when we first got in the car he was like where am i headed to and i was like parkside because she lived in parkside so when we started getting closer to parkside you know when we got off the freeway he was like where do i go from here i'm telling him left right left straight blah 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 blah, blah. so we get to her house and we park so i'm like okay we at your house get out the car she's like i don't really want to go home and i'm like well you're definitely not coming with me to my house so long time friend she coming with you is she <coughs> bookie not coming to my house mind you nobody's coming to my house i i basically that's what i said i said ain't nobody coming to my house so long time friend is she coming with you to your house because i don't want to be bothered with you or her really at this point so she was like, no, she not coming with me to my house. So I'm like, okay, yeah, get up out the car. She's like, I don't want to leave. I don't want to go home. And I'm like, girl, how you acted tonight, if you don't get up out this car, I'm literally at my ends with, with you. I'm like, can you just please get out the car and go in your house so we can leave? Because I'm, I'm literally ready to go home because I'm so irritated. I should have just sat my ass at home. I had already had a bad feeling about this night, but I still went out because I was just in my party, party, party. It's summer. I don't want to miss nothing going on because I hate it when I... Yes, Munchie. So, y'all, this girl is really throwing a temper tantrum, throwing a fit in the car, not trying to get out the car. So, I get out the car and I go to her door and I'm like, look... I'm going to count to 10. If you're not out this car, by the time I get to 10, I'm going to drag you out the car. So, long time friend, like, yeah, get out the car and go home. Like, the night over. We done. We done partied out. We all ready to go home. We tired. Just get out the car. So, she's just looking at me like she don't hear what I'm saying. And I'm looking at her like, <laughs> one, two, three four so pop up like man it ain't even that serious just little mama just get out the car just get out the car she not listening so y'all long time friend just push her she's like bitch don't push me she's like well get out the car so she's like man whatever finally y'all she get out the car I shut her door. I get back in the car. I'm telling Papa, pull off. I don't even want, I don't even care if she make it inside or if she don't make it inside. Somebody can come snatch her ass up, y'all. At that point, I was just so mad. And y'all, I am totally a girl's girl. And I usually will wait till my friends get in a house before I would pull off or anything like that. But y'all, I literally did not care what happened to that girl. If she made it in her house or not, because the disrespect was just, was just too much for me. So he drive off and in my head, I'm just like, yeah, I'm not messing with her no more. And I'm definitely about to start thinking of a way to get back at her because do she think she just, she just going to get away with all this? You flirting with my man, you, you flashing him. Like that's just the most craziest thing. Like that's so inappropriate. I would never, ever expose myself in front of any of my friends, man. And I hate when people try to use that oh i'm just so drunk i know me personally i didn't got some sloppy drunks but i never was so sloppy drunk that i thought about doing something with somebody else's man especially not one of my friends never ever 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 have i ever got that sloppy drunk i don't know what kind of sloppy drunk that is that must be some different kind of shit. but i've never been that drunk to where i thought about sleeping with one of my friends mans or flashing them or just exposing myself in any type of way around anybody's boyfriend in public at that like never 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 maybe on some dare shit for fun with just me and my friends or like just random niggas but i wouldn't but maybe if that was the situation but not with my full-blown boyfriend and my friends' boyfriends like nah absolutely not that's just going above and beyond for me for attention after we drop off, uh, after we drop off Deb, we go to drop off G because he lived in Antioch. And then we came back because at this particular time, longtime friend lived in the neighborhood I lived in. So we drop off G, then we drop off longtime friend, and then Papa pulls up to my house. We sit in front of my house for a little minute. We just cupcaking. And he's just like, man, tonight was crazy. And I'm like, yeah, tonight was very crazy, very strange. It's, 
it was really a coincidence that I even ran into him and then all this shit transpired like it was really a crazy night like I couldn't even believe all this happened in one night like this is a lot of shit that's going on in one night mind you like I said this was only Friday this is the this ain't over so much stuff happened this in this weekend it was just too much so that's just Friday into Saturday all that happened so we came for a little minute and I'm just like you know I'm tired I'm gonna go lay down tonight just drain me so he like all right he walked me to my door he gave me a kiss and he was like you sure like I miss you and I'm like nah, I'm cool like I, I promise you like I, I'm I'm done for the day I will tonight whatever it's already the next day but I'm done so he like all right cool I go in my house I go take a shower I'm just laying in my bed I go to sleep next day I wake up and I'm just recapping everything in my head like I can't even believe all this happened but then again I can because anytime I'm with Deb crazy stuff happened anytime I'm with longtime friend crazy stuff happened so I can't believe it but I can't believe it at the same time so later that day after I wake up, I'm like, let me call a long time friend because I need to check her and check her temperature because I'm trying to figure out you had nothing to say this whole time we was at this party and you clearly seen she was flirting with my man. But when she started trying to flash her boobs in front of your man, all of a sudden now you doing something. So I call up long time friend and I'm like, hey, sis, what you doing? She like nothing. I'm just chilling. I'm like, last night was crazy, huh? She's like, yeah, it was crazy. I can't believe she did that. And I'm just like, can I talk to you about something? I'm just like, I don't appreciate that you let a lot of that stuff happen last night. I feel like as my big sis, you supposed to be my big sis. You would have my back with certain things because I would have your back no matter what. I would never let a girl flirt with any of your niggas no matter what. Mind you, G was not long time friend boyfriend. That was just one of her niggas. I don't you get what I'm saying? But it's still the principle. I would not allow that. I'd be like, hey, hold on, like that's my sis. Yeah, you look too close. Like, girl, don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't allow that to happen. That's just me personally. I don't know about anybody else, but I just wanna no matter what kind of friend they were to me. I would not allow something like that to happen in my face and I didn't say anything. She basically was trying to explain to me like I didn't want to get into it. I didn't want to get in the middle of it. I thought you would be fine and you know you would be able to handle it yourself. It wasn't even like that. So it's making me mad because like I said her and Deb was hanging out way more than I was hanging out with them because I was hanging out with everybody else or the dudes I was talking to. But I just still felt like just because you and her are getting really close I feel like at the end of the day I've been knowing you since damn near diaper days me and your what we have is way more you know I I expect you to be loyal to me no matter what I don't care how close you and her are getting me and you've been friends for literally years you're one of the first friends I ever remember happening in my whole having in my whole entire life like I've been knowing long time friend that long so I don't care that you and Deb is getting closer than me and you. And so you don't want to get in the middle of anything that me and her got going on. I don't care. Like, period. It's not you getting in the middle. It's just you. You doing what's right. So I'm getting upset because I'm I'm like, you're basically justifying your actions. You're basically basically what you telling me. If I wasn't there and Deb was all up on my man. You wasn't going to say shit. You probably wouldn't even going to come and tell me. You probably wouldn't even told me you saw my man is what you telling me. So that's all I need to know from you. I already have been cool off you, but now I'm extra cool off you. So now I'm mad at her. I'm just like, all right, girl, whatever. I'll talk to you later. I hang up on her. So now I'm mad as hell. I'm like, yeah, you know what? <laughs> I y'all at this particular time, I don't want to say I was messy, but sometimes you know I would sprinkle a little information here and there you feel me like like put a little birdie in somebody's ear and see how far that birdie fly so I'm like 
either I'm gonna try to dig up something or start something between them. Like I'm, I don't care if I gotta lie, I make something up. Like I'm about to formulate something that makes sense enough to where it don't come back to me, to where I either get them two to fall out or I get them back individually. Because one thing about it, you hoes, it's y'all last day playing with me. <laughs> like a dead ass. It's y'all last day playing with Shayla because I'll be way too nice and forgiving. So after I get off that conversation, I'm just thinking in my head, I'm just laying in my bed. And I'm just thinking, probably like texting people on my phone, watching TV. Like an hour passed by and I get a phone call. It's pop up. He like, what you doing, little mama? How your day going? How you feeling today? Is you cool? So I'm telling him like, yeah, I'm good. He like, you still tripping off last night? I'm like, nah, it's cool. I, I don't even care. And he was just basically telling me like, I know them your friends or whatever, but I don't like how you be hanging out with these females that don't seem like really your friend. He was like, every time I come around you and your friends, one of them trying to like flirt with me and stuff. And I'm just like, yeah, but you know, he's just like, you always coming up with some excuse. He was like, I don't like you hanging out with females like that. It's a bad look. I be hearing stuff about your friends, not dead because this was his first time meeting her, but he was hearing stuff about longtime friend and Lee. He was like, I'll be hearing stuff about your friends in the streets. And that's just not a good look for you to be hanging out with them type of females. People are going to associate you with that. You know, you maybe need to start distancing yourself from them and I'm like yeah you know you're right you know I don't really even be hanging out with them like that but you know from here from time to time I do go out with them I do party with them mind y'all like I said Deb and longtime friend they my whole friends they down to do whatever so certain shit like my other friends wouldn't do they would do it was just and I know they sound crazy but I I use them sometimes you know to do things I didn't want to do with guys and I can get benefits out of it and I know that sounds crazy, but the way them hoes was treating me, I mean, fair is fair, right? I don't, I don't force them to do anything. I never tell them, oh, go do this and do that with wooty whoop and wooty whack so we can do this, so we can do it. I never, it was never that. I just knew like, I'll bring them and I know they was easy and I could probably benefit off of this. That's all it was. So yeah, anyways, he like, um... One of my partners is having a party tonight. You want to come? He was like, don't bring none of your friends. Just you. I'm going to come pick you up. It's just going to be me and you. One of my boys is having a party in Antioch. So I'm just like, yeah, shit. Why not? Just me and my man. We about to turn up and have fun together. Because one thing about it, Pop Up, he always had something going on. He had lots of emotion because obviously he was a drug dealer and I didn't know. So him going to something like this was really so he can sell product, <laughs> really. But I'm just thinking we just going to go out and have fun. You know, it's been time together. <laughs> but I mean, we was, but he was, you know, selling all kind of stuff. I didn't know. So yeah, he like, I'm gonna come get you around eight o'clock. So just be ready, get cute. And you know, we're gonna have a good night, just me and you. I'm like, all right, cool. I get off the phone with him and I'm just chilling in my room. And I start getting ready because y'all know us ladies, it take hella long to get ready. Mind you, I didn't wake up till like one o'clock. So at this particular time where he called me, it's like five o'clock so i'm like okay i got three hours to get ready let me get ready and then i could just chill for the rest of the time until he come pick me up because one thing about pop up he was spontaneous uh, he could have came at any point in time i don't know he just said be ready at eight but you know he come a little earlier he can come a little later i just wanted to be ready already because i knew it was gonna take me a long time to you know do my hair do my little fake makeup and get dressed so like 8 15 roll around and you know, pop up, he called me, he like, I'm outside. I'm like, damn, you didn't even tell me on your way. <laughs> but he said, you ready? So I leave out the house. I go get in the car with him. We drive to Antioch. We go to this one particular store we always go to. And at this particular store, he was probably, you know, serving people there when he would go to this store. We go in the store, he buy a bottle and i get a jones soda that was like our drink together the blue raspberry jones soda i get one of them i get some candy some snacks or whatever and y'all as we walking out the store y'all mind you when we walked in the store it was heck of dudes i didn't even want to get out the car but he was like i know you probably gonna want something in the store so get out the car like you good with me so as we walking out the store it's a bunch of them, them dudes was like at first it was kind of like scattered out but as we coming out the store they, they all like on the side in front of the store now 
So they like looking muggy hell hard. So I'm just like, ooh, like, <laughs> you know I me? Mean? Like, what's going on? Because mind you, Pop Up is from Richmond, you know? So he all out here in Antioch and stuff. And you, I know he know people, he cool with people, but still, it's just like, uh, it's it's just a lot to the Bay Area hoods and, and cliques and it's gangs and stuff. Like, it get very serious. So, the dudes is mugging and stuff, and I'm, like, looking scared as hell. I'm, like, holding on to pop-up, like, the hell? Like, this crazy. So, he, like, lift up his shirt, and he flashes, you know, his pop 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 And I'm looking because I had never, ever even knew pop-up had a thing thing. You feel me? So, I'm looking like, oh. And I don't know, y'all, in, 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 in a way, it, like, turned me on. I was like, oh, my man, it's a <laughs> I don't think that, I mean, not saying I don't think that stuff cute now, but it's not the same no more. But I'm just like, oh, like, oh my God, I'll trap queen for real. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, so the nigga's like, oh, okay, okay, okay. So I'm like trying to scuffle Harry up, get in the car. We get in the car, he pull off and stuff. He blasted the music or whatever. I'm looking at him like, okay, I know you strapped up or whatever, but it's like, fine, nigga. Nah, not even five, y'all. It was like seven, eight dudes out there. I'm like, what if they get the bop, 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 bop? You feel me? Like one against eight. Like, come on now. But he didn't care. He drive off and we go park at the Antioch Marina because he come get me at like 8.15. I say about at this time, it's like nine o'clock. The party didn't start till 10, but it's in Antioch. We already in Antioch. So we go park at the marina and we just sit in the car. We talking, uh, we taking shots, we listening to music. And he was like, I want to tell you something, but don't be mad. And I'm like, you know, what you got to tell me? So mind you, when we sit down, we park, y'all. We get in the back seat and we, you know, cupcaking or whatever, y'all. I'm sitting in the, on top of him in front of him in the back seat because he had a truck, like an SUV at this point. Well, he had... I don't even know if these was rental cars or not. Now that I'm thinking about it, how hood dudes be, he could have been in rentals. I don't know. But I thought these was his cars. He was always in a different car. But some of them cars, I don't know. Some of them was probably rentals. Some of them was probably his cars. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know. But it's an SUV. So I'm sitting on his lap, but I'm facing him. And, you know, so I'm just like, what? I think he about to... Tell me he cheated on me or something. Like, my heart thumping out my chest. So I'm like, what? What's up? Like, what you need to tell me? He was like, you know, um, I think your friend was tripping last night because she drank from my cup. And I had put two pills in my cup. I'm like, oh, mind you. I'm just finding out new stuff about pop-up. Every time I keep up with pop-up, it was like I was finding out new stuff about him. Really, when I really think about it, I really didn't even know who he really was for real. Because if y'all been keeping up with me and pop-up, I really didn't even, I didn't even know what his name, his real name was. He lied to me about his age. He lied to me about his real name. He lied to me about what he did and how he got money. I really didn't even know him. He was really a stranger. <laughs> Now that I'm older, that nigga was literally a stranger. He could have been a serial killer. <laughs> I don't know. Because <laughs> he lied about literally, literally his whole identity. So, um, I'm just like, oh, I didn't even know you popped. It's like, yeah, I'll be popping sometimes here and there, you know, when I'm out. But, you know, I don't be doing it all the time. I ain't no fiend or nothing. And I was like, well, you don't seem like a fiend. I would definitely hope you're not a fiend. He was like, yeah, remember when she grabbed my cup out of my hand, she was drinking out of my cup. And I was like, oh, that's crazy. So it did make sense why she was tripping like that. But like I said, Deb did pop pill, but usually it would be like a half or we would put or they would put like one pill in a bottle like a, a whole tire bottle of alcohol they put like one or two pills in a whole bottle and you know multiple people is you know drinking off that bottle but he put two pills in a cup of liquor so that is probably why she was tripping so i'm just looking at him like wow that's crazy. Why you didn't say nothing then? He was like, I, it was just already a lot going on. I was already on. I just didn't think I needed to say something right then and there because I didn't want to escalate 
the situation. So now I'm kind of side eye and pop up like, okay, that's kind of weird. <laughs> like, I feel like that's the shit you should have told me because I'm thinking my friend is off her marbles and she probably was just thizzing real hard. We already was drinking heck of liquor, blowing down a house, and she didn't drink out of some liquor with two pills in it. I'm still not excusing it, but I am kind of mad. I'm just like, wow, that's crazy. I'm just looking at him like, he like, man, see, I knew you was probably going to be mad. Do you want me to take you home? And I'm like, nah, it's cool, but you, you should have said something. But again, she shouldn't have been drinking out of somebody's cup. You don't know what people put in their shit. So yeah. We cupcake for a little bit more. Now it's time for us to go to the party. We head to the party. We get there and pop up know everybody. So y'all I'm feeling like that girl because as soon as we get out the car and we walk in, everybody's saying what's up to him. They like, hey, what's up, bro? What's up, bro? He like, yeah, da 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 da. Mind you, you know how like when somebody doing a sale and they got it in their hand, they ah, you know, sliding the trade off the money in the in the, the product. He was doing a lot of that. Now, mind y'all, me and him didn't drink half the bottle we had. And y'all, at this time, like I said, pop up love Bacardi. And Bacardi is strong as hell. So I'm already faded, like drunk by the time we get here. And we didn't blew down the house. And I know y'all probably thinking like, damn, did he ever like drug you? I don't think so. I never fell on like thizzing. Because you know when somebody pop a pill, they get the grinding they eve they get to tripping they get to getting hot they get to fiending you feel me they get to acting <laughs> low-key border crackhead so i know what people look like that you know pop pills i never acted like that so i don't think i would hope not he ever tried to like put a pill or something that i was drinking off of but yeah we're going through the party and you know he <clears throat> slide 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 saying what's up to people we get to the kitchen and he was like, you want to drink? And I'm like, for right now, I'm cool. I'm lit. I'm drunk. I'm like, nah, I'm good. He like, all right, I'm about to roll up. He see the dude who party it was in the kitchen. He like, hey, what's up, Brody? This my girlfriend. It's Shayla. Da -da -da. Shayla, this Brody. This is house. This is party or whatever. I'm like, oh, okay, what's up, bro? Like, nice to meet you. He like, yeah, whatever you need, sis, just let me know. Kitchen stock. We got drink. We got bottles, whatever you need. I'm like, all right, cool. Y'all, they have barbecue, so it's food in there. It's ribs, burgers, hot dog. You like, you want a plate? I'm like, yes, I got the munchies. So he making me a plate of food. He bring me a pop up a plate. He like, here, I'll go, bro, eat up. Y'all, I'm grubbing. I'm getting down. I'm not. And at that time, y'all, I was me. I was so. I was one of the picky eaters. Y'all, I'm so drunk and I'm so lit. I just <laughs> and I sit down. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I tell the plate, dang, I'm like, damn, that shit was good as hell. So, after that, we like get up, we dancing, we partying together, we having a good time. Now, as I'm standing there with Pop Up and we dancing, this girl was calling my name. I'm hearing Shayla, Shayla, Shayla. And I'm like, who calling me? Because I haven't seen nobody here I know. These are Pop Up people. Mind you, we are in Antioch, you know, but... You know, these are kind of like older people, but not like super older. Like, of course, his partners are older, but it's still like people my age there. But it was more so older people or just like a lot of hood dudes. So I'm like, who calling me? I'm thinking like maybe somebody else name here is Shayla, which I never ran into another Shayla at this particular time. Anytime I was anywhere. But, you know, you never know. So finally, I feel somebody yank my arm. She like Shayla because my job. We had moved from the kitchen and we now in like the little, he had a fat house. He had a fat house. We in like the like living room type areas, big as hell, fat house. So finally, like I said, somebody, I feel somebody pulling my arm and I'm looking, y'all ain't gonna believe who it was, Kim. Kim is the girl who introduced me to Deb. Mind you, Kim was supposed to come with us the day before to the party yesterday. So I'm looking and I'm like, girl, what you doing here? You didn't come out, you didn't come out with us yesterday, but you here? She like, my man's here, my man's here. He let me come out. And I'm like, oh, where bro at? Like, I ain't seen him in a minute. She was like, he in the back with his partner. So I'm like, oh, okay. So y'all, at this point in time, I had forgot about a long time friend and Deb and all the little stuff that really happened or whatever. But when I see Kim, 
I'm like, you know what? She seemed pretty drunk. Cam loose with her lips. And maybe I could get some tea from her from on dead because she been on dead for hella long, way longer than me. So I know she probably got some good juicy tea on her or something, you know? So I'm telling Pop Up, I'm like, um, I gotta go outside real quick with my friend. And he like, nah. And I'm like, I'm gonna be right back. He like, man, if you're not back in 15 minutes, I'm coming to look for you. Where you going? And Kim was like, we just about to be in the front where it's not too loud. So he like, I'm telling you in 15 minutes, if you not back here, I'm coming to look for you. He was like, it's, it's too many niggas up in here. And I'm just like, we're going to be fine. We're going to be good. He's like, all right, 15. So I'm like, okay. So y'all, we, me and Kim, we head to the front of the house. We in the front yard. It's people out there, but you know, it ain't too much going on. Like inside and in the backyard in the back and in the inside of the house is full blown party. So we in the front and I'm like, girl, you won't believe what happened yesterday. You missed all the shit. She like, what happened? What happened? So I'm telling her what happened. I'm like giving her a rundown. Like, you know, I was feeling off. We go to the kickback. Long time friend ain't dead. They run into my man. Dead flirting with my man. She drinking out his cup. We go park. We kicking it. She take off her shirt. She flashing. She like, what? I'm like, yes, yes. Now I'm not telling her like I was mad or nothing. So I'm saying it like, you know, I'm just telling her what happened. I'm not being like, this, this, that, uh, 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 that bitch. I, 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 I'm just telling her what happened. She like, man, that's crazy. I was like, yeah, girl, you missed it. Yesterday was wild as hell. Like you missed hella stuff. So she was just like, that's why I don't really be kicking it with Deb like that no more. So I'm like, Oh yeah, she got tea. She got tea. My antennas start antenna ink because I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, she got some tea, and I'm like, what? Really? Like, why? Like, what's been going on? She was like, yeah, because she always trying to flirt with my man, and she, you know, she was like, you already know how she is. She was like, yeah, I don't be kicking word no more. And can me? He ain't play that. <laughs> He didn't play that like Kim was a part of my whole group friends but when she got with my partner nah he cut all that Kim stopped all of that like literally all that whole shit she was doing he cut that shit out he was like nah you not finna be with me you finna be doing that so I believed her that you feel me she wasn't really dealing with Deb like that no more because I knew <laughs> Brody was not having that so yeah, she was like, yeah, when I would bring her around, she would always be trying to flirt with him. And you know, my man, he don't be going for all of that. He really don't like me hanging out with her. So I'm just like, yeah, that's crazy. I'm like, yeah, it's crazy because you know, her and longtime friend, they getting hella close now. Now that makes sense why they clicking up so much because you know, before it was me and the longtime friend and it was Debbie Kim. And she was like, I'm surprised that longtime friend even still kicking with her like that. And I'm like, what you mean? When I tell y'all, the information that Kim started to tell me when I tell y'all I was not ready for this tea when I mean my tongue was burnt scorching off y'all this was the information I didn't even know I needed for my revenge oh y'all I didn't know I needed this tea now I knew I needed tea but this tea <laughs> Now, I know what some of y'all thinking, like, Shayla, why you just didn't beat her up? Like, you're doing all this plotting and planning where you could have just literally beat her up. But, y'all, it was like every opportunity I got to be in a situation where I wanted to fight her. We was both drunk, and she, most times she was sloppy drunk. And I'm not going to fight nobody who's sloppy drunk. That's just not me. I didn't think it was that serious for me to need to put my hands on her, even though the situation was pretty serious. I just didn't want to do that. I wanted to put out a devious plan and watch watch it unfold before my eyes like I just wanted to be super messy about this and just start drama and sit back and kick my feet up and let shit play out I ain't even gotta lift a finger or touch nobody that's really what it was this is my 16 year old mind said so I don't want y'all to be you know don't do too much I was 15 16 at this time I'm, I, this not some stuff I would do now at 31 years old okay so just let's get that out the way but I just wanted to be messy really 
I didn't want to just have to fight them. I felt like that was just too easy. Like, literally too easy. I knew I was going to probably beat them up. So, it was like, that's too easy. Like, I need something else. I want to sit back and watch something unfold. Like, I just want to kick my feet up and just laugh at these hoes. It just... It just fell into my hands. I thought I was going to have to do some real deal work to get some type of information or lie to say something that was going to tick both of them off or start some drama and get them beat up by somebody. Because I, I wanted them to get beat up or something. I just wanted something. I just needed some type of revenge. I was either going to get like another one of my friends to hop on the dudes they liked or beat them up or start rumors or something about them. So it was just like this piece of information can proceed to tell me y'all it was so good and I'm so sorry but that's the end of this part two. Part three y'all <laughs> y'all don't even believe the information that <laughs> Kim told me and she had been sitting on this information for a long time but I'm glad I ran into her that day but yeah y'all I'm gonna wrap this oh y'all I didn't got all the way into this video and I didn't even tell y'all my nails these are my nails I really don't even like them I rush them but they kind of cute. They do match the shirt. It's some hearts and lips to match the shirt. I'll put a picture up. This the new hair, y'all. The burgundy and the blonde. And it's so cute. I love it. I love it. It's eaten. It's eaten. I love this look. It's so cute. But yeah, y'all not going to believe the information that Kim told me. <laughs> y'all, plan was in full motion. <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> like, yeah. But yeah, stay tuned for part three. Y'all will get part three this week. Y'all ain't got to wait a whole nother week. Okay, I know I didn't post nothing last week and I'm so sorry. And I promise y'all, y'all won't have to wait like that again to get the tea. I definitely will be posting part three, which is the last part this week. Probably on like Wednesday or Thursday. I don't know. Y'all gonna get part three this week though. But all right, y'all, I'm gonna see y'all in my next story time. I'm gonna vibe you a vibe. We should vibe to you. Should what? You should like, comment, share, and subscribe, but only if you want to, only if you want to, only if you want to. If you're watching, that's really all I appreciate. Everything else is extra, and if you do so, I greatly appreciate it. If you want the extra juicy tea, go ahead and click the link down in my description below to join my membership. A new membership video will be up sometime this week, so stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Deuces.